around me. I'm in a bad area. Let me let me get out here. Yeah, we lose each other. Just call my cell phone back. I've programmed it up. I'm not outside. I know you can't. I'm Okay. All right. I'm outside. We should be okay. Okay. All right. Cool. So uh, I kind of got caught in the speed with uh, Rhonda and Brandon the other day, and I know you know you want to definitely talk to somebody at, at the top, and that's me. So can you kind of talk to me a little bit about your experience so far? Well, everything was going great until, uh, you know, the last minute here this week, I was expecting any moment to get a call, you know, with, you know, a date to close on this house, uh, that we were nearly done with all of the, the process of, of getting this house. And, you know, I've had the inspection done and everything. And, um, it was to my knowledge, all we were waiting on was the HOA had to get some final documents over you know, to you guys, and that everything I've been led to believe is, you know, a surefire, done deal, that it would be my house and everything, and, you know, several months before I even sold my house in Colorado, I was approved for the lending, and so I went ahead and listed my house and sold my house and came on down here to get settled in Austin, and... Then I get the call from Rhonda the other day with the bad news saying that, you know, I'm being turned down. And that just completely turned my world upside down. You know, I'm a single mom with my daughter here, and this pretty much rendered me homeless now. And now I'm concerned about my credit if they just reject the loan. I know that goes very poorly on a credit history, and, you know... I, I, my world is upside down. I've been a nervous wreck, depressed. You know, this has turned out to be the absolute worst case scenario nightmare I've ever had in my life right now. So that's where I'm at on this. Okay, so I kind of got burst in all the things that went on with your file. When we originally uh, started your file, Rhonda, she got your divorce decree. She noticed you were getting child support and looked at it and believed it was going to continue for three years. It's um, actually going. It's actually going to continue for longer than that because my daughter will be in college after high school, and yeah, I, they have. Uh, were, I, I'm sorry. What was that? I'm sorry. I should have let you finish. Go ahead. Anyway, they they have, you know, where you extend the child support after they're 18 to cover through their college years. You know, it's in the state law. I, I forwarded a copy of, of the family law where it states right in there. And then you don't even, if you're the custodial parent, you don't even apply for the extended child support until after your kid's already applying for colleges. So... I don't know. I mean, this was totally unexpected, and if they would have known this early on, you know, I would have never been approved. I wouldn't have sold my house. I would have kept my house in Colorado and not moved down here, and I've just been completely misled and lied to and strung along, and, you know, myself and my realtor had, had periodically contacted Rhonda to see how things were moving along. And she said, great, it should be any day now. And, you know, the week I'm expecting to get a date for a closing date, uh, then I get this. Yeah, and I, I'm, I, sorry, I'm so sorry this happened if you feel like this. And the challenge is with, uh, with child support on divorce decrees, they don't guarantee that the child's going to go to college so that the fight is going to continue, so therefore they don't allow us to keep that. Yeah, well, another okay. thing, there, another thing, there's no guarantee that, you know, her father, you know, could survive this next week or even herself. You know, you can't predict the future. It's just ridiculous. I, I, know, I completely concur with that statement. That's where the mortgage lending world becomes so... Uh, non-customer friendly with its rules and how they handle certain situations, especially when it comes to child support, divorce decrees, and things of that nature. So, Well, where my issue is, is from the very get-go, day one of getting approved, you know, with Rhonda getting the paperwork for the child support, it clearly has my daughter's age and date and year of birth, and that nobody... In, in all the years of, of real estate with 
you know, I'm sure you guys have been doing this for a while, that nobody caught that before my whole world gets turned upside down. And, and now my credit is, I don't even know what's going to happen there. And this could prevent me now from even purchasing another house. Uh, this won't prevent you from doing that. As long as your income and your ratios are in line, we're not going to do anything that's going to uh, hamper your ability from our standpoint to buy another house. So you don't have to worry about that. Nothing for, if we don't do your loan, it's not going to reflect on your credit report. Okay, so... You got turned down for a loan. Okay, so so then where are we at on this? Are you saying that it was a Fannie Mae rejection? Do I still have a loan approval? Can I start looking for another house, you know, regular? No, what, what, we're saying, what, what we're saying is we made a mistake. We looked at the income and, and the, the uh, child support and the dates, and uh, we just we made an error. I mean, yeah, I mean, uh, that's, a big one. that's a huge error. I mean, my world now... What this has caused, my life and well-being, homelessness, uh, I'm going to have to. I have no choice other than to, to take this, you know, legal action then. And I have okay. one hell of a case, you know? Well, I mean, unfortunately, I mean, I don't want you to go down the legal route because I... I well, I have no work. choice. I have no other choice. I need to be compensated well, no, no, in some way. There's always choices. Okay, well, if you were me, if you were a female single mother and some real estate company did this to you after you already moved out of state, sold your home, uh, I, I guarantee you would be following the same route that I am. I would be, I would be trying to find the quickest resolution, whether with the company that I was talking to or finding another solution. Because okay, it, well, it, I'll leave it, that. It, I'll leave that up to you. You find it out and figure it out, and write me a letter, send me an email, and I'll decide if that is, you know, acceptable to me. And if not, I am going to take this to the the legal system. Uh, and, and I, I mean, my job is to make sure that that doesn't happen and find a resolution that... Okay, well, it. you go ahead and find it. Go ahead and find it and write me, write it all up and... Okay, well, hold on, hold on one second if you can for me. Can I ask you a couple questions? Sure. Okay, um, have, you, have you found a place to live? Uh, I'm, I'm not living, I don't have a freaking house right now. I thought I found a place to live. No, I don't have a place to live right now. Where, where are you staying? My now? stuff is in storage, and I'm bouncing around. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to research this, and I'm going to go take it to our head of operations. Um, and I'm going to talk to them and see if there's a solution that I can come up with. If there's not a solution that I can come up with personally um, on getting a loan done for you, then there's several avenues that I can help to find a rental house down there in Austin, Texas. We have a lot of Rent is now. not an option for me. I am not, yes, I can't explain why, because I will not be building equity on something that I'm renting. I don't own it. I'm not, I'm not, not willing to accept a too rental. Expensive. Okay. Rent is too well, expensive. Well, I, okay, so then I, that, that was just one question I wanted to ask. I'll, I'll get research done. Are you available on Monday, let's say, in the afternoon? Well, this is, talk? this is another thing. I have mineral rights in Anderson County and Cherokee County, and I have to take a road trip up there to, to get some, some things resolved up there. And I was planning to leave here Sunday afternoon after dropping my daughter off at the airport. She's taking a trip with her grandmother, and I was planning to probably be gone about four days. You know, that's okay. I mean, that, you being out of the state of Texas won't slow down if you, what you and I are going to do. Okay, if you so, can call me, that's fine. I will have my phone with me. And, you know, just if there's anything I need to, to do here, signing anything, I'm not going to have a printer, scanner, nothing like that with me. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take care of that, um, making sure that we, we do that. So um, just sit tight. And I, and I, you know, whenever we let people down, I feel pain because our, my job as the head of sales is to make sure every customer has an exceptional customer experience. And that means even when we tell
tone know that we do it quickly up front and they understand the reasons why. In this situation, we made a mistake. We did. Yeah, I'd say uh, one not, hell of a huge mistake. Here, so I want to try to figure out a resolution that can work for everybody. And do understand that I care about your well-being because I'm a dad, too. I have a five- and a seven-year-old, and I'm a single dad, and I get it. Yeah, you know, and I, I thought, you know, Barbara was wonderful, and Rhonda was wonderful. Everybody knew the circumstances. They knew Corinne's age and everything. And, you know, like I said, if I would have had any kind of forewarning that this could have been an issue, I would have told them right away, well, you better find out for sure if it is or isn't, because I'm looking at selling my house. And if it's going to be an issue then I would never, ever have sold my house. Right now, my house I just sold has gone up 15% in value in the last month. You know, I could be making more money in equity off the house I just sold up there. You know, and I could have just refied that and stayed there. You know, this has completely destroyed my, my fucking life. Excuse my French, but I, you have no idea what this has put me through. I mean, I'm lucky I'm not in the hospital right now because I've got records from recently because I've been having anxiety attacks. You know, I've got health issues going on, and this is not helping the situation. It's, it's very, very difficult. No, I, I can't I even can't tell you how, ma how many headaches from crying the last three days straight. Yeah, no, I get it. I, I truly... I truly am in the boat with you, and I'm going to do everything in my power to get us to a place that, that we can be happy. All right, I appreciate it. I look forward to hearing back from you. Okay, you have a good day, okay? All right, thanks, man. Okay, bye. bye.